Hi everyone and welcome to this new demo video about importing mating recommendation in Uniform Software. The Sire mating recommendation module contains standard import presets for the following AI centers in North America. Alta Genetics, CIMEX for the Optimate, CIQ for the Progen, ABS, Select Sires, and ST Genetics. You can also customize your own import. It will allow you to import from any supplier and you can even mix what has been recommended to you by various suppliers. You can do so by creating an Excel file which contains cow ID and sire recommendation for every single cow. The file can be pretty basic. As you can see now, we have four columns. So the first one will be the cow ID and the second, third, and fourth one will be the sire recommendation for every single cow. You must enter an official sire code. The format is alphanumerical, which means that it begins with three digits, and then we have two letters that identifying the breed, and finally we have five digits at the end. It's important to mention that the sire code in this Excel file has to match with the one you currently have in your software. Otherwise, Uniform won't recognize it and won't be able to link it. Plus, if you are using a file from one of the organization mentioned earlier and you want to change a recommendation in it, you can do so right in this CSV file. You just have to select the cell you want to update and you change the information here for the sire you want to change. Once your file is correct and ready to import, you must save it by clicking on File and then Save As. So you can create a new name and it has to be saved as a separated by comma or a CSV format. So make sure you choose the right one and then you can click on save. Finally, we have to close the, the Excel software, otherwise Uniform won't be able to import your file. So let's just close Excel now and go back to our software. Now here's the steps to import in Uniform. I will first explain how to import the CSV file and second, I will explain how to import from a known organization. Within our program, you can access the import uh, mating recommendation module by clicking on the cow's head and then on the links and finally on the import mating recommendation. The organization listed here are always providing to their customer the same file format that fits uniform needs. If your Simmons supplier isn't on the list, no problem. You can customize your own import. To do so, you click on Others and then we click on Next. We will select your file by clicking Add, selecting the file that we just saved and then Opened and finally we click on Next. This part is a wizard to help you customize your import. In the text option, leave the default setting at field are delimited with a delimiter character. In the delimiter part, we will leave it at comma. For the text qualifier, there's no text qualifier, so we'll leave it at none. And the first line here is the first line that we want to begin to the import. So now it's the second one. If we are choosing the first one, we will import the column heading, which is cow name, first choice, second choice, and third choice. It's not what we are looking for, so we'll leave it at the second one. Now we can click on Next. And on this window, we need to map each column in the CSV file that we want to import. So the cow name is the name of the column in my uh, CSV file and in uniform it match animal number for the cow. 
first choice NAEB will be the NAEB code 1. Make sure you are choosing that option and no AI code because it won't match. So this one is very important. You will, be the same, you will do the same thing for uh, the second and the third choice. When you are done, you just have to click on finished and you will upload the recommendation. I will now explain the part uh, when we have a file that is from a known organization, so for the purpose, I will just click on cancel and we will be back to the recommendation later on. So if I want to access the import uh, mating recommendation, I go over the cow's head and then on the links and number five, import mating recommendation. You can now select your organization. I will choose uh, CEMEX for this one and I click on next. As previously, I will click on add to choose the file I'm looking for. So it will be uniform agri CEMEX, open and then finish. The software now is loading recommendation and it will be the same part if you are using a CSV file or if you are using the one from a known organization. In this window, you will see some line that has a green check mark and also line that has a red X. Lines with a green check mark are well imported, so no worries about them. Now let's have a look to the one that has a red X. For example, cow number six. So cow number six, if we take a look at the last row, it explains why it's not able to finish the import. So the three bowl is not able to find it in our database. Of course, the format is not an official one. So we need to point the right sire to the software. To do that, we just click on the three dots here. It will open the window uh, with all the bowl in my software and I will make a research for an Angus sire. So here's the sire I want to replace it. And then we click OK. So from now on, all the recommendation that was containing OOO Biff is now replaced by dead center. If we are going down to verify if there's other red X, uh, we will see oh, here's some of them. So we have cow number 5740. We have the sire 777 ho 3910 So I need to assign it to the right one. So if I go to the three dots again, I can type in the any AB search box 3910. And here's the difference. In the software is known as 777-HO-03910. That's a slightly different, but it's a bit, it's too different for the software to match it. So we will just point the right one. So here it is. So everyone has a green check mark. So there is one last step is save recommendation. So yes, and successfully saved. The sire recommendation can be consulted in several places within the software and in the uniform app as well. So in the uniform software, we can see it in the animal record, in the actual tab. At the bottom left, we have the mating recommendation, the first, second and third choice. If you are using the semen inventory, it will also display in which canister you have the sire in inventory. Second, from now on, when you will enter a breeding in the daily event, you will have those recommendations as well. So let's go with the cow number two. We want a breeding for today. And here's our recommendation. So I have the tree sire available for her. Of course, you can choose another one. You just have to click on show all actual bowl and you have now access for every sire. 
If we take a look at the app, if we take a look at the app, we will have the exactly same thing. So let's go to the animal record, cow number two. At the bottom, you can see that we have mating recommendation with the three sire. If you want to do a breeding, let's go on the cow at the bottom right and choose eat and insemination. At the lines about bulls, if I made a research, here is what appear is the tree choice available for her. If I want to choose another sire, it's exactly the same. I just have to tap show all at the bottom left. If we're going back to the software, it's also possible to have a herd overview and it's called the breeding planner. The breeding planner is available under the cow's head and then on service bowl. And finally, breeding planner. So you have all the recommendation for all the cow in your herd. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you still have questions about sire recommendation import, you can call the help desk or you can send us an email at supportna at uniformagri.com. Thank you.